All right, thank you, Anthony. Drug overdoses took the lives of nearly 108,000 Americans in 2022, and new figures released by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention also show overdose deaths quadrupled in the last 20 years. They rose from an age-adjusted rate of 8.2 deaths per 100,000 people in 2002 to 32.6 in 2022. Now, opioids account for most of these deaths. Dr. David Purse, the chief medical officer for the city of Houston is joining us this morning to talk about this worsening overdose crisis. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Oh, thanks for having me, Amy. Yeah, I mean, we say worsening crisis. It, it's so shocking to believe because when I think about the whole opioid thing, I'm thinking back in 2007, 8, 9, 10, when there was a pill mill on every single corner in the city of Houston, and we really don't see that much anymore. Well, you don't see it, but don't think that it's not there. Mm -hmm. uh, the drug dealers are still very much in business. As you pointed out, the number of drug deaths that we're seeing in the United States and, and also here locally in Houston Harris County are going up. And that is largely due to the, the drug dealers. What they've done is they've shifted over what they're using in their drugs from less lethal drugs to more lethal drugs, and fentanyl in particular. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so then that's what I was going to ask. What are op opioids and how do you recognize an overdose? We used to say it was those three in the cocktails. Now we've been talking about fentanyl for, for a while now. Yeah, and you know, this gets a little complicated, but first let's talk about your answer your question. You know, what are opioids? So opioids is a class of, of uh, compounds, you know, generally used, ideally used in medications made by reputable pharmacies and dispensed through your local uh, pharmacy with a professional pharmacist uh, involved, right? Uh, they're great for pain control. Think about people who've got, you know, had surgery or an injury. Uh, cancer patients depend on these a lot. And the, the most common ones are like oxycodone, codeine, hydrocodone, mm -hmm. and fentanyl, generally the fentanyl patches. And those are, you know, those are great for what they're uh, supposed to be used for. Now, you know, sometimes people will overdose on those medications or, and we also need to talk about the street medications that come along. Um, and what they will do is they will, the, the opioids, they generally, they, they reduce your pain. People get sedated. If they take too much, they'll get a little sleepy, hard to arouse. One of the things that we talk about is you can get these really, really tiny pupils with a narcotic uh -huh. overdose. Oh. But also remember, there are other things you can make you do that. So people who've had a seizure will be uh, uh, will be sleepy and hard to arouse. People who've had strokes may be this way. People with really low blood sugars. So anytime you come across somebody who you can't wake up, who you should be able to wake up, uh -huh. you need to call 911. It might be an opioid overdose or maybe one of a couple of other things. And, and so we've had a lot of talk about Narcan. I mean, now that we're saying, hey, here's how you recognize the signs of an opioid overdose, especially if you know someone and you know that they are users uh, for right. whatever, whether it's pain management or, or illegal illicit use. Tell us about Narcan um, and, and how you might be able to use that to, to reverse an overdose. Yeah. So first of all, Narcan has been around for a long time. It's been around for decades and mm -hmm. it is really, really effective and really reliable. It also has almost no downside to it. So if you should give it by accident to somebody who's not having a narcotic overdose, you're not going to hurt them. It reverses the uh, the opioid and people will generally you know, start breathing again. They'll wake up if you, you know, if you give it to them early enough in the in the overdose. It's easy to give now. It's a, a nasal spray. It comes with a little a, a, a little um, uh, uh, dispenser, you slide it up somebody's nose, you squeeze it, it sprays the Narcan up into their nose. The big news is that a year ago this last Friday, it became available without a prescription. Uh -huh. So you can get it in your local pharmacy. It's not terribly expensive, but you really should have it on hand. And as you pointed out, if you know somebody who's using narcotics, um, this is really something you want to ha have available. Yeah, absolutely. We've even done stories where certain school districts now want to have them available at all schools where um, overdoses have become a problem. Um, we appreciate your time this morning. As always, Dr. Purse, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, Amy.